This video is about the medical disorders. It is in fact a talk station. In talks exam, the different uh, stations comes. And usually the examiner put uh, forward a sheet to you and she asks the different questions. So this is about the medical disorders in pregnancy. Okay, there are different medical disorders in the pregnancy. Like uh, um, the station, um, like um, there is a station uh, in which the examiner will put forward this sheet to you. Um, she will say that um, read this these instructions it really comes in i am talks and fc this model talks and she says that read these instructions and uh, reply to me the different questions okay so the station is that a 32 years old grabbed a two para one with previous history of stillbirth under one um, 75 grams OGTT and her report is that okay fasting is 90 milligram per day later one or post prandial okay which should be below 140 uh, that is the 198 mg per deciliter and 2 or post prandial is 180 mg per deciliter so this is very much deranged okay and she is 32 years old okay and grab the two para one okay so this is very deranged OGTT report so and the first question that examiner would ask would be interpret the report okay what do you think the report says okay so we would say that patient has got diabetes mellitus that is our answer okay another question is that what is the next step so we so we should be the we should be ready for examiner questions we can reply to the examiner in different way but um, the answer would be whole day should be profile we would say that uh, ideally we would, we would admit this patient in the ward for sugar charting for whole day sugar profile and what uh, management what you do okay the management you can answer in this way that first of all i would ask the patient to control the diet and i would tell her about the the level the target levels that the aim should be fasting glucose of 75 to 95 milligram per deciliter and one hour post pandemic is less than 130 to 140 milligram per deciliter okay one hour should be below 140 two hours post prandial should be will below 120 so we have to tell the examiner that we have we, we would like to manage the levels in this way okay the station number two 23 years old family gravata 32 weeks of gestation presents with an altered sensorium and jaundice her blood pressure is 150 by 100 and her lab investigations are as well okay hb is 10 gram per deciliter tlc is 11 cross channel is 43 bsr is 40 okay platelets are low you can see bb is high platelet is low altered sensorium serum uric acid is 9 milligram per deciliter it is high bilirubin is quite high no, uh, a little bit high at uh, 3 milligram per deciliter platelets sorry pt 20 and ald 2900 apdt 52 ast 1902 urine for albumin trace so what is your diagnosis okay what is your diagnosis okay okay although uh, it looks like she has got a picture of health but the main distinguishing feature here is bsr you have to look at the bsr if bsr is low then the most likely diagnosis would be acute fatty liver of pregnancy now briefly uh, briefly outline your management okay first of all man, um, admit the patient in high dependency high dependency admission would be advised and stabilize the mother correct hypoglycemia cognitive disorder consider ventilatory support if gcs is less than age d right cover iul and lscs okay so these are the management points station number three is define obesity define obesity okay sometimes the related to obesity these stations comes we have to know okay underweight is when bmi is less than 18.5 normal weight is 18.5 to 24.9 and overweight is 25 to 25.9 and more than 30 is obese now in a question that might be asked by examiner enumerate obesity related adverse outcome in pregnancy those are diabetes hypertensive disorder thromboembolism respiratory disorder infection uti etc these are diabetes these are obesity related adverse outcome now what are the obesity related adverse outcome in labor in labor 
uh, there is increased uh, risk of cesarean section birth trauma increased risk of shoulder dystocia so these are the um, uh, complications that patient might encounter during labor what are postpartum complications of mastitis in those include pph lactational dysfunction increase um, uh, incidence of hospital stay and dvt now what are the obesity related adverse outcome on the fetus the fetus may suffer from neural tube defect for every incremental inf- um, unfit increase in bmi the risk of neural tube defect increases by 7% iugr and small for gestation age intrauterine drug that preterm births macrosomia childhood obesity gestation number 4 is that 26 year old primary gravida at 22 weeks of gestation presents for antenatal care you observe the forming lesion okay there are some lesions on the tummy of the patient and examiner might give you the uh, figure the diagram or this thing that will be in front of you so how will you manage her okay this is chicken pox risk of pneumonia hepatitis and encephalitis to the mother um are there so we sh- she should avoid contact with the other patient okay and or a cyclo way 800 mg for 5 hourly it presents within 24 hour iv if severe infection no role of intravenous immunoglobulin at this point the risk of fetal varicella syndrome is up to 1% which include the i effects the limb hyperplasia microcephaly dysfunction of the bowel bladder sphincter etc women should have detailed ultrasound at the 5 feet of trachea